Hey there, it is Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you, but... This one's different because this one comes from Traumatize Them Back. Title of this one is My Friend is Dying, Karen. I just came across this sub, but it seems like the perfect place to rant about an incident that still makes my blood boil to this day. Back in high school, my friend group included this guy who had a terminal illness. He was at the point where his doctors were shocked he was still alive. Aside from being skinny and a bit pale, he looked like any other average teenager. He had his good days and his bad days, but even on his good days, he would tire easily. He didn't talk much about his illness and tried to be normal like everyone else. For example, he would talk about the college he wanted to attend and what career he wanted. We respected that he never brought up his illness. He had a placard, so we would always park in handicapped spots. As you can imagine, we often got dirty looks when a bunch of seemingly healthy teenagers piled out of the car. Our friend ignored the looks, so we never said anything to these judgmental people. One weekend, we all decided to go to the amusement park. After an hour or so, he started getting tired, so we got him one of those loner wheelchairs. Like the teenagers we were, we took turns doing stuff like pushing him really fast and doing wheelies, but we were careful not to bother anyone else. I remember him laughing his ass off. That is until a Karen shouted at us from like 30 feet away. You know you're keeping that wheelchair for someone who might actually need it, don't you? I looked at my friend and his smile instantly disappeared. I was done, effing done. So I marched over to her knowing exactly what I was going to say after biting my tongue so many times. I didn't raise my voice so my friend wouldn't overhear what I said. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm sure you'll be happy to know that my friend has a terminal illness and his doctors say he could die any moment now. So someone else will be able to use that wheelchair very soon. She got all red in the face and said, well, how was I supposed to know that? I replied, you weren't because it's none of your effing business. So thank you for reminding my friend he's dying when he was having so much fun. I turned around and walked back to my friends. He made it another two years after that. Jay, I still miss you, bro. Damn. But also, this is for you, OP. You get my glitchy green flag animation because that's that like, we all need this kind of friend. Also, who doesn't add to the the problem in the scenario was the attention. The, the the attention distracted from his distraction, right? He was supposed to be a distraction. He was having fun. And, and I'm sure that's what the majority of his life was at that time. It was a distraction from the fact that at any moment, his journey could end. And this bizzo has to pipe up, which by the way, like I get looking at, you know, kids who seem like they're just dicking off with a wheelchair and being like, what? Well, that's not right. But to have the stones to to pipe up, assume that you know everything about the person who's in that wheelchair and to be a complete bitch about it. Like, that's got to take some stones. And also, yeah, her, how was I supposed to know? You weren't, bitch. You weren't. And you should have realized that you don't know before you're opened, before you opened your cunty mouth. I didn't mean to say it. It just came out. This is shitty. This is just a shitty, shitty, shitty thing. But good on you, OP. Candy Thunder, you have some thoughts to share on this one? No, I was just invisible. You can't see. I think. Correct. You cannot see. Like, invisible disabilities do exist. You cannot, like, you cannot look at someone and diagnose them with your eyeballs. I mean, some really good doctors probably could. The visible disabilities, but the invisible ones, it's not going to be the case. Judgy, judgy, nuts and fudgy. Take her judgy ass over to American Idol or some other bullshit where it can be actually useful. Ain't here. Ain't here. Also, like, this gal's walking around a theme park just, like, judging everything she sees. Not having fun, not enjoying the day, not getting succotash or freshly made pork rinds, just judging everyone. It's like, is that what you came here to do? It wasn't the rides. The attraction for you is the sea of people that you can walk around and judge your ass off on. To the point where you have to pipe up and be like, I judge you so hard, I share my judgment with you. I hope she got diarrhea in the middle of a ride. From a funnel cake. From a funnel cake. Hey, yo.